guys, welcome to Tars 370. I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series. What if Zombie Scarlet Witch? Now, this thing is really cool. We got an awesome artwork of her on the box there. Then we have the Watcher up there. Then on the side, we have the Watcher. And then we have Zombie Wanda from the episode, which I, I really like the look of this. I don't like the new style packaging, but I do like how it looks. It's kind of cool. Then we have the build figure and the other characters in the wave. And then on the back, we have another picture of her and her accessories. And yeah, let's open this up. So, out of the box, the action figure looks amazing. Um, with accessories, all you really get is like the red kind of like energy beams like she's using her powers. There's no alternative hands or anything like that. Um, but overall, the figure looks really, really good. Um, I will say it does stand very well, which surprises me because it's very top heavy uh, with the uh, head there. And the head looks great. Like It's angry. It's rough. And, you know, it does look a lot like Elizabeth Olsen. And I don't mean that as like, like, uh... I don't mean that as like an insult. Like you can definitely see where they're going for her, and that's obviously due to the animation style. But it just looks great. And the hair, the hair is sculpted so perfectly. The hair might be my favorite thing about this, and it just looks so good. Um, you know, the zombie characters. I don't know if they're necessary, like they're necessary to the collection, but they look great. And overall, at first glance, it looks like the exact same one we got before. But these are new arms. This is the Civil War, uh, Civil War body, but with new arms, and then it also has a new jacket and new head. And you can actually see where they had some flesh in there too. Like it's it's kind of like decomposed. Posing. And it looks great for the zombies too. Um, really the only thing that hasn't been changed is the legs. And I would say that's a big problem because the legs just don't really support this one that well. Um, but the back of the jacket looks really good. I like how it has now tears and all that. That looks pretty cool. They would have used something like different on the legs and there is some tears in there but nothing new it's it's the same legs from last time now here's the accessories uh they do are they are the same we've gotten for wanda but these look a little bit more purplish they look a little bit different and basically you can just slide them on there they look great and i recommend posing this one with a flight stand because i'll be honest i think over time it's just going to warp the legs of how heavy the head is and it's got a 360 of the head it can look up and down 360 arms swing out the shoulder double jointed pinless elbows uh, which again the original only had single joints so that's cool you got a 360 wrist you have torso articulation the legs are forwards backwards outwards you have double jointed knees and the feet move up and down and go side to side so in terms of articulation pretty good um, but yeah I really like it and um, overall it's, it's a really great action figure I think they did a really good job with this here's a comparison with the original release and as you can see at first glance they look like the same but the arms are new the jacket's new the head's new and aside from that the body and legs are pretty much the same but you know I think it works I mean obviously this one that is supposed to be that Wanda, so it kind of makes sense. Um, and again, I like how too, like even though the arms are different in terms of articulation, I like how they're relatively the same length. I think that's pretty cool. And then here's a comparison of the WandaVision Wanda, which is really cool. And then lastly, here's a comparison uh, with the zombie cap and the zombie hunter Spider-Man. So we have, I like how they're slowly building characters from that episode. That's pretty cool. And there's going to be an Ant-Man and Iron Man. So overall, I think that's really cool. It's not one I necessarily think you have to have in your collection, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool one. So thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. Thank you.